Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another welcome back to my 2023 project going coastal. And another welcome back to the North Yorkshire coast. Okay, so, yeah, back on the coast after going to Malian Spout. Now, yeah, back on the sandy shores and this time we're at Saltwick Bay. And I'll tell you what, what a beautiful place this is. You've got this gorgeous green headland and cliffs just there. You've also got, there, literally, Black Nab. But what I'm here for, I'll spin you around towards the sea. There it is, Saltwick Nab because the sun is probably going to be setting just behind this headland. Now, if this cloud is anything to go by, showing quite a lot of promise. However, as you've probably just seen from me swinging you around like a lunatic, um, the tide's still quite high. It shouldn't be, because according to the tide timetables, High tide has been and gone. It's now coming up to half past seven. Low tide, in fairness, is meant to be after 10 o'clock. Sunset is supposed to be about five past nine tonight. So I'm down here in loads of time, loads of time. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to find the right composition. This is probably going to be one of those one shot and done kind of videos, but it's not just gonna be one shot and done because I'm gonna try and put quite a lot of planning into this. I did research down here for, before I came and I literally looked at the nab, looked at where the sun sets, looked at the sunset time, jobs are good. I have no idea about what I'm gonna to use to compose it or anything like that at all. Let's wait and see. Um, I say what we will do though, is we're gonna have a wander around that way. The problem is I still can't get round the headland much more because the tide's right in at the cliff edge. Don't know if you'll see it. It's still breaking on this bit here. I'm hoping in another hour, that's going to have rescinded a bit. I mean, I can get a bit closer to the nab because the sun is obviously going to be setting behind it. So I try and want to kind of want to try and peek out a bit more. Now I was thinking originally coming down and shooting black nab for sunrise and I still might do, but the problem is sunrise and high tide first thing in the morning kind of coincide. So the problem I've got is I'll literally only be able to shoot it from, from the beach. Apparently you can still get to the beach in high tide, but yeah, it's a bit of an awkward one. That'd be so much better in a lower tide situation. That might require some planning for a further trip. Um, and by planning, going back to my previous vlog, about is too much planning um, a hindrance to to our work it's just going to be a case of marrying up sunrise with with a low tide situation so i think that's going to be worth monitoring i think there's a way to work out tide times for advance shooting i don't know but i mean th this place is gorgeous the downside is obviously i'm now here um, which means i don't want to revisit again too soon but there's always next year, he says in May. Um, right, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna have a walk towards the headland and see if there's gonna be a way round or if there's gonna be a composition that I'm gonna be able to muster out of this. Stick with us, let's crack on.
okay, so through sheer grit and determination, the tide is definitely on its way out because I'm actually now stood in the area of headland where the water was coming up to. I think that's the worst part. I've just got to get across this rock plateau, but it is definitely not coming up as high anymore. Oh, yeah, nowhere near as high. It's not even reaching that. Now, what I have had to do is just do a little bit of hopscotch over these old rocks there. Those ones. And just basically time it in between waves. Now, it's not too bad. It's not like the waves were crashing up against them or anything. It was just where the water was running in between them. So I had to make sure I was stood higher than the water level when it came in. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be worth it because if I just spin you around, you can't really tell, but the light is glimmering off these rocks. Yeah, we're starting to get some good action there. And as I said, the tide will be at its furthest out point, its lowest point, after I've already been making my way back. So I'm just hoping there's going to be an easier route through. A um, bit of sand or something rather than trying to hop across these rocks with a torch. Ugh. Now they are still slippery, these rocks, because obviously, as you saw, the water was literally lapping over them a minute ago. So I'm gonna stop recording again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go see if I can actually get over to that side. Okay, so I think I've already found my composition, but I'm not sure how long it's actually going to last and whether we're going to make it to sunset. I am slightly concerned because I'm going to blow you out here. Well, you can see the sun is literally just behind this headland. If that goes behind there, I lose all light on the foreground. And if that goes behind there, I'll lose all light on the nab as well. I could do with it being slightly more sideways. Thing is, I don't want to venture too far in. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Because mm. if we spin around and look at the nab, excuse the sun as I blind you guys to turn it around. You have got this raised edge bit there now if i reckon if you cross that you'll probably have more light on it you can see from the nab itself that it's it's getting light kicking on that side but it it's not a massive amount and it's a solid rock plateau all the way over there mm. composition always good fun do you stick or twist Do you stick with what you've got? Although in saying that, the composition I had, and I've already taken as a test shot, it's already losing the light on it. So there's a rock just down here. There, you can see that it looks a bit light and orangey. Not gonna lie, there was a lot more on there a minute ago. And that sun is already setting down on that bit. Mm. All right. We're going to twist on this one, I think. Let's go see if we can find a different composition.
Okay, so now I've got up close and personal with the nab. It's actually quite uninspiring. And I think I should have stayed in Whitby. Because there's the Peters, there's the headland, and you can see the colour starting to change there. Now, stick or twist. Do I gamble and get to the car and into Whitby before sunset and hope something happens? Or do I wait and see if I get something here? Mm. Composition, stick or twist. That wasn't going to be the intention of this video at all. But literally it seems like, yeah, what do I do? What do you do when the composition turns out not to be as you thought it was going to be? Stick or twist? Let's go find out what happens next. So as you might be able to tell from the B-roll, I went with twist. And to be honest with you, don't think it actually would have mattered whether I'd stuck or twisted because that bank of low horizon cloud has come in. <sighs> which has just eradicated the sun. And all the nice light that we potentially had. Never mind, never mind. I am a little bit disappointed to be fair because it looked like it was proper gonna kick off and it's all just faded to nothing. I am gonna stick around. Um, we've still got 20 minutes till sunset to be honest with you. And I think I might just stick around and see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick around. I've only got another 20 minutes to wait till sunset. And then, yeah, I'm in no rush. No rush at all. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign out now. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, if you have obviously liked the video, do give us the old thumbs up. Drop some subscribes from the bottom. And this is a very disappointed mic out. Take care and be safe, everyone. Peace.